All right, guys, welcome back, 1776 or bus. So today we're going to actually be looking at something that I had no intentions of making this soon. Uh, I wanted to spend a little bit more time with it, but because it's been generating a lot of buzz, I figured I'd show it to you now and then kind of go over through some of the things here on the table so that you can see what I'm talking about. So right here, this is my Icarus Precision. This is their aluminum lower. This is for the X-Compact for your SIG P320. Now, for those of you who are fans of the X-Compact and have been waiting for this to come out, and there's been a lot of people who have been, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this, this is a no-brainer. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't pick one of these up. Now, I'm going to do some uh, some footage coming in here in a second to kind of show you some of the things that I'm going to be hitting on, but I'm really basing this video on a lot of the questions and inquiries that I've had from people. So first off, release date. The release date is going to be mid-January, so that's pretty exciting because we're already it's already January 2nd, so a couple more weeks, hopefully these will be out and uh, be uh, a production in production, and then you guys can get your hands on them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is going to be discount codes. A lot of people have been inquiring about that. I've mentioned that, so there is a discount code that's coming. It is not available just yet because these are not being released just yet. So you're going to have to be patient with that. The discount code will be XC, so X-Ray Charlie 1776. And uh, there's a little catch to that. So catch number one is that it's good for two weeks. And catch number two is it's only good for 100 people. So keep that in mind. It's 100 people who arrive who want this bad enough to pay for it. You're going to get a 10% discount and it's valid discount for two weeks. So if they don't get 100 people right off the bat using that code, the code will be open for two weeks uh, in total. So that's something to look forward to. And that's for all of you. Again, I've said this before. I am not making one dime off of this. And I'm okay with that uh, because this is a product that I believe in and it's a product that I think you will actually enjoy once you get your hands on it. So another question I was I received from someone was about the trigger control module, uh, taking it out, putting it into the aluminum frame. Is there any issues with that? So to be honest with you, there are no issues at all. However, I will tell you that I do this. I use my little hammer here with the nylon side of it and I just tap it in just to make sure that it hits the, the beaver tail and goes where it needs to be. Again, I don't want any, any kind of problems with this. I don't want any malfunctions that are man-made as opposed to the production made uh, in, in the firearms. So for me, I just punch it in a couple of taps and it's good to go. It doesn't harm anything. It doesn't scratch anything up. But if it, there is a little bit of a tight fit to it, just tap it in a couple of times with that nylon side of your hammer and it works every time. And so far, I've done it for both and they function, they, slow, they rack, they do everything they need to do. No problems whatsoever. Another question I received was about the beaver tail on this thing. So the beaver tail is kind of interesting, guys. The beaver tail on camera will look like there is a little bit thick, more thickness to it than, let's say, the polymer. And I can tell you, to be honest with you guys, based on this polymer frame versus the aluminum frame, the polymer frame does feel like it actually has um, a, a higher beaver tail, but it's weird because it's really not. And it may look like that even, but I've noticed that the way the beaver tail has been cut on the Icarus Precision Lower, you're going to find that that beaver tail may have a little bit more material there, but it is negligible in regards to the size of it. More importantly, the way that beaver tail curves up, it actually gives you a little bit of a higher hold on the firearm. Now, that's also in a, a part of the idea of why they have an undercut under the trigger guard. And if you even compare the undercuts to the old SIG polymer frame or the X-Carry frame or or even the Wilson's combat frame, you're going to find that the undercut on this Icarus Precision Aluminum Lower is much deeper. It's really, really a deep cut. As a matter of fact, I'll post it, put it up there on the camera, and you guys can see. Like, I've got big hands, um, but just the way my finger fits in this area right here, it, it's just perfect. There's no complaints at all. There's no rubbing. There's no Glock knuckle issue on that whatsoever, and everything just fits really, really, really well. Another question was about the inherent weight. Yes, you're going with aluminum, so yes, it's going to be a little bit heavier than your polymer frame. However, on the good side of that, you're going to notice that there have been some cuts being done on the lowers here. You have the, the cuts on the front of the slide, right by the uh, pick rail, and then you're also going to find them under the trigger guard, which is actually pretty cool. It's almost like a skeletonized trigger guard, which reduces the weight, and you'll notice there's also another undercut for your support hand, which actually makes the control and the manipulation of the firearm even better uh, than what you could expect expect from a stock grip or even a Wilson's combat grip. Texturing on the frame, uh, what can I say, guys? It, there should be no complaints. I know one complaint will be it could be so much more more aggressive, and you're right, it could be more aggressive, but then you always run into those problems with people who are going to carry and, uh, and conceal carry. Um, one of the things that I always found about the 2.0s, and I love those guns, is that 
the texturing is really good, but it's almost like it's too good because it's so grippy and so scratchy that it does make it a little bit inconvenient when you're carrying. And if you have clothing over it, you know, trying to draw from a, you know, cloth position, you're going to find that sometimes that clothes can actually get hung up a little bit on that texturing. In this case, I don't really feel that. I don't see it. Like I said, I carried it tonight with the shirt that I'm wearing right now. And I had no issues with that. Uh, the gun didn't get caught up on the shirt or anything. And the texturing on the grip is, is what I would consider close to a G10 type grip. Um, um, so that's something that I definitely think is really, really, really good. Uh, another question I received on this gun was, you know, how does the grip feel overall? Is it thick? Is it thinner? Is it rounder? Is it squarer? I would tell you, honestly, guys, this grip is much more rounded off than the polymer grip right here. Uh, while this feels a heck of a lot better than the original P320 grips, what I did notice is that it is a little bit blocky on the sides. It is round. I might have even mentioned that in the original videos, but one of the things that I did notice on this is that if you check out this grip, what you're going to find is that they've actually beveled some of the edges right here, and that beveling actually makes a lot of sense because it makes the grip a little thinner and even more rounded. Now, if you've got enormous hands, it may not work for you. I'll be totally honest with you. And there is no adjustability to this whatsoever. So you can't add or subtract anything to work with your hands. However, the X-Compact as a whole, it's not a huge gun. So if you do have that gun and you're used to carrying it, this is not going to make any objectionable difference to you if you've been carrying it all along. I mean, overall, all I can say is that when you, you meet a company or you get in touch with a company that is willing to put their money where their mouth is, so to speak, and on top of that, also build products that people are going to be able to use and it's going to function in real world scenarios. Th to me, this is, this is one of the best products that I've ever seen on any handgun in the years that I've been doing this. And uh, I believe in this product and I believe in this company. And I really think that if you're interested in this, Check them out. A couple more weeks, they're going to be released. Use that discount code. Again, I'm getting nothing for it. I just want you guys to have the experience that I've had with these um, items. The discount code, unfortunately, right now is only for the X Compacts. However, there is we're in kind of like a, a talk. I don't want to call it negotiation because I'm not really negotiating anything. But we're kind of talking about maybe doing a permanent discount code for all of the followers of the channel. Um, so that would be an awesome thing because then that would apply to every single firearm lower that they make, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty generous of them. And that's why, guys, I can't complain about this. So overall, what are my thoughts? Well, I mean, the shooting experience I had with the X-Carry model, awesome stuff. There's no complaints. The slide on this thing right here was just absolutely perfect. The gun was so smooth of a shooter that I was actually not shooting so well because I was really expecting recoil, and there really was no recoil. Mm -hmm. This one, I've got to get to the range, and I will do that. Once I do shoot this, I'm going to post this with the actual x carry and kind of compare and contrast both of them so that you guys have a better understanding. However, I would say I have no problem carrying this gun already as is because I already know how it performs with the polymer lower that I'd have no problems calling this into, into into use right now so i did carry it um i was able to carry it in and uh, where's my holster i don't know what i did with it it's somewhere who the hell knows where in this room but uh i have a holster i have a tolster holster for it and i was able to carry with that comfortably and no problems held the gun it, it's not uh, too fat too big it's too small it works perfectly um i have a couple of more holsters that i i showed also earlier today that's um from black arch and also from eclipse holsters those work perfectly. So you don't necessarily have to worry about it if you have one of those three holsters with this particular firearm. Again, you may have a holster that may work. I'm not sure about all of them, but those that's my experience with the three that I do own. I mean, overall, it's a great package. Uh, again, I can't stress this enough. You know, you look at the undercuts, you look at all of the things they put in here in regards to the friction points on the trigger guards, the undercuts and how deep they are, the grip texturing, the just the overall fit and finish of this item has been absolutely perfect. And it's a great company, and they're really cool people, and they're willing to really go out on the edge and say, hey, look what we have here. You have an opportunity to do that in a couple of weeks for a reduced cost. I suggest you do it. So leave those comments down below. If you don't mind, give a thumbs up. I always appreciate that, guys, um, and it does help the channel grow. So as always, I hope you have a great night. Stay safe, and freedom is never free.